In 23.1, Tableau have added some new user function called user attribute functions. Let me explain what those are and let's do a little refresher on user functions. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna start out in Tableau just to do a quick refresher on what user functions are. You can see here, I have a folder called user functions. It's got a few attributes that are specific to me and all a user function does is it essentially, uh, it's a group of functions, essentially calculations. You can actually get to them here in the interface just by going down to this list that says users and it checks against specific attributes that are available on Tableau server or Tableau cloud. And you can essentially check those attributes to check a couple of things. Uh, the simplest ones are just available right here so you can see them working. Just to sort of save some time, I've set up some calculations already that show you this. So for example, I can ask what the full name of a specific user is. And if I drag this into the view, you'll see that it will say that my full name is indeed Tim Nguena. That's my actual full name. Perfect. Uh, if we replace that with the user domain, let's go ahead and replace that. You'll see that it says external because essentially I'm set up here on tablet cloud and so my user domain is technically external so that's that's fine uh, let's try my username let's go put my username onto that and here I'm using my email address so it's pulling up my email address as my username so all these functions are doing is checking specific attributes related to my identity the last one that I'll show you here is a very simple one it's just called is member of what you can essentially do is you can check if a user is a member of a specific group this group is called test just so you're absolutely clear what a group is here on tableau cloud i have the groups set up the groups are only visible to site admins and server administrators essentially so you have to be uh, quite elevated in terms of access to see and manage these groups but if you're in the group and you know what the group is here you can see that i'm part of the test group and so all i've done in my calculation is check to see if i'm a member of the test group well, how do you know who someone is? Well, if you didn't know this, this is a little trick in, in Tableau, not many people know this. Um, if I close this, over here, this like literally, this, this, this took me like a couple of years to learn. Over here, you'll see your name. And a lot of people think that this just comes from the computer or something. Actually, what this allows you to do is simulate the dashboard you're looking at specifically as a specific user. So if I go ahead and change this to this other user, you'll see my email changed. So I can actually switch and impersonate different users. And now if I go check the is member of group test, you'll see this user is not part of the group. So let's go ahead and drop that in and you'll see it says false. So as I switch uh, the users around, as I simulate these users around, let's just go down here and switch it again. You can see that that's flipping around. So that is all user functions are doing. So then that leads us to you know ask the question, well, what are user attribute functions? Well, this is very specific because what Tableau seem to be doing here is making it even easier to use connected apps and certain applications, especially in embedded solutions, to make it easier to pass information that can then be dynamically used inside of a workbook. And so let me just sort of paint the, the flow for you. Let's say you're building an application. Let's say you're building a portal. And what you'd like to do is inside of your workbook, you'd like to check if a user is a member of a specific team and that team might not be something that's been set up as a group inside of Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud. Instead, it's a group that's specific to the application. So the application might be, for example, uh, portal administrators. So these are administrators that look after a portal that aren't anything to do with Tableau Server. What you can do with the new setup and new capabilities with Tableau over the last year is you can use a bunch of attributes. Essentially, you can add information to the way that you authenticate to Tableau that has attributes and what these two new functions do uh, the user attribute matches and user attributes is they check those capabilities they check those uh, specific attributes it's sort of like a it's like a little variable it's a bit like me logging into a system saying hey am i a portal administrator yes or no that is an attribute and so that's what tableau is able to check with this new function. And the difference between these two is that user attribute simply checks if you checks to see if you have an attribute and user attribute matches can actually look through an array of attributes to see if one of those attributes matches. So you can pass multiple bits of information with the user attribute matches and user attribute just checks one specific one. So I don't have an example here, but what I've done is I've put up a, a video so you can hopefully see the example that Tableau have on their own YouTube channel. You can just go ahead 
ahead and see how that's working. Essentially, they've modeled an example that checks to see if someone is part of a specific team and the dashboard consequently changes what they can see inside of the workbook. So that's a super cool capability. So I just wanted to do a very sort of uh, hopefully simple and clear explanation of what user attribute functions are. I think uh, user functions in general are actually super powerful. Uh, I don't think they're used enough and they're actually quite pervasive throughout the product. If I, if I go to something uh, like a, a dashboard, one of the things sometimes you can do is you can um, you can even go into the title here and if you go to the insert tab, you can see that sometimes you're actually able to pull through a, a user's name. So you could say sales and profit uh, by customer for and you can pull in a user function fill and you can say for Tim Nguena and you'll see that it customizes the title with my specific user function. So super cool feature. Uh, we started to see a bit of this being used in Tableau Public, uh, but you can actually use it inside of the dashboards that you build every day. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.